Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Eric Narecki. I'm the chair of the Open <coughs> SLES and Open Max AL working groups. I'd like to give you an introduction to uh, the Kronos Institute of Training and Education, or KITE. For a long time, Kronos has been working with uh, connecting silicone and software. But in this ecosystem, or in the industry ecosystem, we've noticed that there is a portion missing for the work that we're doing. And this is that we're not connecting the industry with education. So KITE is a new Kronos initiative to directly support educators and people who are in the education industry. We want to enhance the efforts of educators teaching the Kronos APIs to, uh, to enable people to, to teach the classes, to teach the APIs to their students. Kronos is not interested in getting into education ourselves. We're not interested in teaching classes. We're not interested in going out there and holding lectures for students. We're interested in helping educators teach the APIs so that we get better educated students. We help the students get the jobs in the industry so that the industry can get the engineers that they need for a, a skilled workforce. So what is KITE? Well, KITE is actually two parts. One is an open community website. It's open to everybody. It's low moderation, so anybody can go in there, take part of the, um, the information that's there, the coursework, and so forth. Uh, it's to build an educational community for the <coughs> technologies that uh, Kronos provides. It's a peer-to-peer -peer forum for educators where you can work cooperatively to build the uh, open and free course materials. And it's an ecosystem hub thanks to SDKs, to tools and example codes. So that you, this is where educators would go to get the information they need to teach their classes. We also have an optional KITE membership, and it's important to understand that this the KITE membership is optional, it's only for the people who are so desire. Educators can enroll in the KITE mailing list, this is free. And uh, um, by getting involved in the KITE membership, you, get, uh, you can get interaction with the Kronos working groups. So the Kronos working groups are also going to be involved in uh, information sharing with the KITE program. They will provide educational guidelines. They will help review material and courseware so that the educators will know what is needed to teach to the students, what do students need to know to really understand these technologies. So the Kite Community website gives access to free educational material and resources. We're looking to have uh, courseware that's available using Creative Commons and it's provided through the Moodle framework. So we'll post Kronos reference and presentation materials there. We'll have streaming presentations where uh, students and educators can download videos on how to do specific things or um, ideas behind it, a specific technology. It'll be an ecosystem hub with uh, the tools and the SDKs that are available to help students and educators develop uh, material and uh, programs using the technologies and APIs. Sample code and other example code will be available there. This is all going to be worked out through a community effort. So there will be notice boards and where people can post internships, projects, competitions. Things will be shared back to the um, website through shared demos. People can share coursework, share projects they've done. Um, students will be able to upload uh, white papers and other materials that they've produced. 
we'll have newsletters, reports, and uh, interviews with the various technology specialists. In addition to this, we'll have books and uh, paid courseware also available. So the courseware is going to be available using Moodle. And Moodle is an open source course management system. It's very popular among educators uh, all around the world as a tool for creating online materials, sharing courseware where one educator can upload information or uh, courseware, another one can download it, they can share, do collaborative development, so that you get a, a collaboration of developing high quality courseware uh, for educators that, where you can share it around the world. There are lots of them. Uh, membership benefits to the Kite program. For accredited educators can sign up for the Kite member email list. And it's important to remember that there's no fee for joining the Kite membership. You can sign up on the member email list. You can um, <coughs> uh, and share your um, information with other educators. You can get information from Kronos through the mailing list. The working group members will provide review of courseware, so the educators will be able to interact with the um, with the leading uh, technologists in the working group. The experts that actually created the specifications will be able to give feedback on the courseware, and it's also a way to directly network with the Kronos members for industry placements, internships, and other Kronos and member-funded student projects, and. This is important for students as students are getting into the workforce to get that contact they need in the industry to get a job. So as the Kronos Working Groups will provide educator guidelines, the Kite members will produce the courseware. And once the courseware is uh, developed, it's provided back to the Kronos Working Groups for review, and the Kronos Working Group is going to give its feedback on that courseware, all in order to create a uh, better material for the educators. Earlier, Neil showed the slide of um, the Kronos Working Groups, how it works with the academic members, the contributor members, and so forth. We've expanded this process with a kite to provide ed the educator guidelines and courseware feedback. To, and this completes the industry ecosystem with developing technology standards, developing and driving the industry forward. Now we're going to be able to also drive the um, education to have a um, well-educated workforce to be integrated into the um, industry to provide the technology know-how to keep driving the industry forward. We're also going to be providing education in this certification. Kronos is going to offer educator certification. This is available to individuals, institutes, and companies offering training. It's also important to remember these are entirely optional. It is not our intent to, um, to say that you have to be Chrono certified in, in order to teach. We're offering a Chrono certification in order to show, give the educators who wish to do so, saying that I'm experienced in these technologies, I have the know-how to teach. And if you're a certified educator, you'll be able to execute the educator program agreement with a small fee. This is a small annual fee. It'll be part of the program. It'll allow you to take part of the certification process. You'll also be able to submit examples of course material and training experience. This goes back to the working groups for review, and they will give you feedback on it. 
so that you can improve your courseware, you can improve the material, and give an even better training experience. And certified educators will be able to use the Kite and the Kronos and the API logos on their courseware and uh, on their material. And these terms are defined in the educator program agreement. But just like we have the adopters programs for companies who produce the material or the um, implementations of the APIs, now the people, the uh, educators who are teaching the APIs will also be able to use these logos. We're going to be setting up Kite chapters. These Kite chapters are going to be located around the world. And it's a network of country and regional uh, local chapters where people who are focused on collaboration with a specific geographical focus within a geographical area can get together and work to uh, organize meetings where they want to get together and discuss uh, educational material to find out what do we need in our area what's specific to my country or the um, geographical region where we live, what do our students need? What do we need as educators to be able to provide that education that our students need? And Kronos is going to support the chapter activities with sponsorship and logistical support to be able to make sure that the educators the, the trainers that need to get together can get the support that they need to be able to get together and provide um, the assistance they need. The first chapter chairs are already signed up. The, uh, we have a chapter uh, chair mailing list for coordination where, we can, where uh, chairs can connect. And uh, we have a website where you'll be able to see where all the chapters are available. So in a little bit, we're going to get uh, updates from our uh, ASA ch the chapters. Korea is definitely taking an early initiative here, and Japan, Tokyo, and Osaka chapters are forming. So. <clears throat> We're looking for chapter chairs in Taiwan. So if anybody's interested, let us know. And a little bit later, Elizabeth is going to talk more about what's involved in becoming a chapter chair and also uh, what we can do to assist you in the role of chapter chair. So finally, Kite is an engine, an engine for the industry. Uh, it completes the whole ecosystem of, have, of developing technologies, of implementing the technologies, and finally now we're teaching the uh, technologies to students so that students can return to the industry and uh, develop the, the technologies of tomorrow. We're going to find and foster the great talent that, the, uh, that has built the Kronos APIs of today to build the Kronos APIs of tomorrow. We're going to increase the visibility and the knowledge of Kronos APIs and education so that students will know how to use the APIs, how to use the technologies that are exposed by, through the APIs by the time they reach the industry. So the important thing here is to get involved. You can join Kronos as a member, you can volunteer as a chapter chair, you can sign up as a Kite member. Any questions? Okay. All right, thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Hwan Yong Lee. I'm from Korea. I'm a CTO of Huon, contributor member of Kronos Group. And my company is the, the sales representative of Kronos Group in Korea. Okay. So I will uh, introduce the, the, the activities in Korea about Kite program. Uh, 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 this the the map is that the the list of uh, college or 
the research organization uh, who show us some kind of intention of participate in high program and so many Korean schools and research organizations are very interested in kite program because uh, I think that there there, are, there is there are spe uh, some specific reason to for each college by some kind of class of a uh, college. I mean, for example, in the research oriented university like Seoul National University or Kite. That kind, that kind of college want to kite program for use uh, kite program as a, some kind of research tool or making good for the more advanced research. So, for example, the kite use the the Colada file format for developing their the AI platform or something, and. So National University developing the official related the development platform or something. So uh, it, it, it is not just for teaching um, uh, students, but but also they need some our uh, the high high knowledge about API for doing their research. And in other case, some low low class. I mean low is very hard to. <laughs> express, but in case of what, what it very training based college like a community college or something, so they want to some kind of a, some they want training to the mainly their the objective of uh, teaching the the API is to give to students some benefit to get good jobs. So so actually they. They hope to uh, some kind of certification program for students, for example, OpenGL ES program, uh, but certified by a kernel school or something. It will be very helpful to to student. Okay, and now the the Gyeongbuk National University is take, taking uh, uh, the role of leading role in kernel Korea chapter. Okay, and. Uh, this is a wish list of, for Korea kite program. So number one goal is to create the Korean kite training center. So uh, there will uh, they uh, they they will build some kind of kite training center in national wide, and then the, we we already received that big government funding budget from Korean government. So. It can be used for uh, making some kind of courseware or some translating some the English document in written in English, or and then it and then it 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 use the some uh, okay the uh, so they they make some kind of a network for developing the the. Uh, educational and training program, and then will be used for making some kind of a. It's, a, it's kind of a national agenda to, to making high competitive student to making good contents in smartphone market or ad market. Okay, so and okay. Second goal is that uh, the. Uh, so, so many Korean uh, stu uh, teachers wanted to be got some kind of a certificate, the educational uh, center. So, uh, I think that so I, I, the, the Eric already the, the explained that some kind of certification program for teachers. So, I think that that will be work for Korean teachers and. And there is another reason to to want to have some this kind of uh, certification because in Korea the the re-education or retraining of uh, the employee of uh, industry is very important uh, the business in in Korean colleges. So uh, if they have some kind of certified the course or certified 
teacher, then they can do some business with the company. For example, re-education of uh, Samsung employees and re-education of uh, LG employees by college. It will be very good business. So they try to do that kind of business. So they hope to have that kind of uh, certification of uh, Chrome School. And then third goal is that uh, it is, I, I think it is very important. It is most important in the, the certification that is a, they hope to uh, making some kind of a certified Chrome School certified uh, program. I mean, it is of course it is for students, and if they make some kind of a, some training program, and then if they make some kind of test or examination, then then if if the student uh, the, over that some kind of a condition of qualification, then they they hope to give the some kind of title of a Cronus certified OpenGL programmer or OpenGL ES programmer. So some uh, one of one of our, our member, the volunteer professor, asked to us that it should be very high quality test or examination of a certification. It means that there are so many certification programs, for example, the Microsoft Mouse program or the Xilinx certified program or, or some, yeah, Cisco certified network engineer or something. There are so many certification, but the problem is it is too easy to get that license because it, 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 by small effort, they can, a student can get that kind of license or certification. So it does not have to get a job. So, uh, so we should the maintain the quality of certification for students with some, at least. The, at, actually, I'm, I'm a CTO of my sorry, company, so actually at least certified uh, pro certified programmer should at least the we don't have uh, if if my company hires some certified programmer then I hope that we don't have to teach again that API so that that is what I want so so we hope that there's some that, that kind of the student certification program and and. We believe that it, will, it requires a really high amount of a budget to build the examination systems. So I think that we already the, the got some budget from Korean government. It will be used for the national, the making examination for national certification. Okay. And then later then it will be translated into international program or something. This is some kind of event and activities that, that we have the kite pro <coughs> meeting in last year, and then we will have uh, some kickoff meeting at June in Jeju Island with a co-location event of uh, the Korean Computer Congress. It, it will be the biggest academic event in Korea for computer science and computer engineering, and then we will have uh, some kind of a the, the program that educating the educators event in October, today, it will be today event, and the, we will teach the, the, the key point of uh, the teaching of uh, API or the new method, or we will introduce and distribute the tools for teaching APIs. Okay? That's all. If you have any questions, please.